All right, so we just came up from the bunk and we haven't had, didn't, I didn't have any time earlier to uh, really get into this and look it over and I gotta be facing this way or else the sun is gonna bother us. Jared and Nate took a few minutes to walk around these and open them up. And this engine compartment on this one is a mechanic's dream. It's, everything is open. I mean, you can get at everything. Um, we'll walk over to the JCB here in a second. Um, what is broke on this is this shock. It was broke before, well, it was broke when we went to open it. So we've got to get a new um, little eyelet here. Uh, for the shock that holds the hood up, but everything is easily accessible right there as far as doing anything, changing filters, starter, starter um, lines. What do we got for a serpentine belt here? Where is that mounted? Yeah, it's not going to be back here. Um, the engine's the other way. All right, engines flipped around. Serpentine belts looks to be a little harder to get at than what i thought it would be but it's not bad it's not bad at all this cooling package would probably come out of there pretty easy but we'll show you the uh, engine compartment on this jcb here uh this jcb is a lot tighter now uh this engine compartment is very similar to the jcb that we currently have and um this belly pan here that goes up around the bottom of the engine is down about here on the old one and this is where the serpentine belt is this one is covered up quite well and that looks to be a nightmare to have to change that we've probably put six or eight serpentine belts on the other one along with idlers and everything else well the thing is is the engine's actually sideways in this and all of your hydraulic controls and everything are on the back down side there, down there yeah whereas the cat is the other way around you got yeah. the hydraulics here and then they put the cooling package behind the front tire so it can get blasted yeah and uh fill up with um everything that you find on a farm yeah so we did weigh these two machines i think i stated that in a previous video this machine here although it looks bigger than the cat is a thousand pounds lighter and this one's got apparently a thousand pounds less on on lifting capacity they say that this one is an 8,000 pound machine and as far as i know this cat is a seven but um why don't we why don't we see if we can pick up that little forklift that weighs better than 6,000 pounds it's got the forks on there i'll go and get it So this is our older JCB telehandler and this is what the serpentine belt looks like on this one and it is a mongrel to get down into the bottom to get um, down over them pulleys it's just a pain in the butt um, to get completely down in there to have to change anything and although this one is not as tight as the other one it is quite tight in there so uh, we're gonna bring this forklift outside and see if we can't maybe uh, lift it up there's a couple of things that we want to be able to carry with these telehandlers one is a dead forklift and two is a dead skid steer so we're gonna pull this outside and just see what kind of lifting capacity it has to lift this forklift up Push them forks together, Nate. This one is as far over as you can get it. You got the other one, the one on the right. Believe it or not, these forklifts 
are made to um, the rollover protective structure is actually it's not made to carry the machine but it's it's designed to be strong enough to withstand the machine in, a, in the event of a rollover all right that lifts it with ease so just uh take it up and weigh it take it up and set it on the scale let's figure out what it weighs <laughs> all right he's just getting ready to drive up onto the scales here i don't know he can't set that down i thought he'd be able to set it down but he's just gonna have to go over to scales get his gross weight and then we'll have to let it down and um Yeah, he is 29,000 pounds gross. 29.4. I can't remember how how heavy that was. How heavy the machine was, the cat machine. So that's 29.4 gross. Okay, so he has just come off the scale. What we're going to do now is we're going to lightly have that hovering above the ground and we're gonna boom out and we're gonna see how far we can boom out Tom put it down so when that back end comes up it don't come crashing down we're gonna see how far out we can boom before it starts to lift the back of the machine up oh, there it goes right there so we are out maybe a third of the way we're out to B well all right b is just coming out of the boom there it's just coming into that zone and and um that is just barely lifting the back end off the ground so um the only reason why we want to be able to do this is this is obviously an old forklift we have had to retrieve this forklift before when it's had a broken axle or a broken steer cylinder so um that's the reason why uh, we would want to carry this uh, forklift. So we're going to set this down here now, and we're going to try to do the same thing with the JCB. All right, his empty weight is 19.7. I can't believe that that forklift is nearly 10,000 pounds. It's a 6,000 pound lifting capacity forklift and I thought I thought it weighed around six or seven thousand pounds but that's closer to ten thousand pounds so now we're going to try the same thing with the JCB telehandler okay these are our attachments for the JCB we have a set of pallet forks we have a two yard bucket a four yard bucket We've got a set of bale spears, and then we've also got the manure uh, grapple. The only downfall of the JCB is we hate putting these um, forks on. Um, they don't go over the top of the actual bars here like that coupler there on the cat telehandler here. It's got the, the forks is uh basically going to go on the same way a bucket does in it it allows you a little more uh, maneuverability to get them on there when you put these pallet forks on the uh, jcb here they're a little tougher to get on there sometimes when you're not on level ground 
And the other thing that you run into a little bit of a problem with is um, if you're in too much of a hurry, they end up tipping over on you. And it just makes for a bad day, huh, Nate? All right, so he's going to do the same thing with this one. Hey, run across the scale first. He was 19.7. I think there's more of a thousand pound difference here. That one weighs 75. This is a nice cab compared to the other one. Look at this grab handle here. That folds, you know, you can grab it and then it automatically folds out of the way. Uh, the creature comforts are quite a bit improved compared to our old one. We don't know how this stuff is going to last though, you know. And that seat is, is great. Um, it's got a little spot to put your cell phone for watching YouTube videos up there on the, it's got a specific ram mount for this uh, machine here that's mounted up on top of the um, little gauge cluster uh, display. This falls off. That falls off? Yeah, it fell off earlier on day. Oh. Well, it even tells you what the green is. This yeah. Is like top Gear Telehandler Edition. Yeah. I think we should take these things around the track or something. That's r and then we're going to race them. We're going to race them down the road. You are in trouble. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to race them. All right, so he's going to run up to the scale and uh, we'll get his empty weight here before uh, we carry that um, forklift up to. Well, we don't need to carry the forklift up onto the scale now with that one. We just need to handle it. But he's going to run over the scale. I thought it weighed 17,000, and I thought the other one weighed 18,000. I thought there was only a 1,000-pound difference between the two of them. That's what I stated here in the last video, but I could be wrong. So there he is there on the scale, and he is 18.3. So he's about 14, about 1,400 pounds lighter than uh, the cat uh, telehandler. It goes to show you that iron weighs a little bit more than plastic because looking at the two machines, that JCB looks like it's bigger. Um, and now I could be wrong. I thought the lifting capacity on the cat was uh, 7,000 pounds and I think the JCB is eight. I could be wrong on that. I'll have to look up some stats here on them, but um, he's going to run down now and uh, see how he handles, we'll see how he handles that uh, forklift. Uh, 18.4 or something, so there's about a 1,400 pound difference. Yeah, maybe. All right, so he's he's in at zero. The, t the boom is all the way in. Go out a little bit. There's not a lot of weight on that back end. I would say that the lifting capacity of these, he probably better go down some so he doesn't break my forklift. <laughs> I would say the lifting capacity of these is pretty much dead on, dead on the same. About a little bit more. Yeah, and there it is right there. He's, he's out a little bit farther with the boom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lift both machines up and see what the, the lift height is on the both of them. And then, uh, then we're going to race them up the road. All right, we've got both of these machines side by side. And what we're going to do now is we're going to race the boom uh, all the way up and all the way out at the same time. And a count of three, okay? All that, all that, all that, all that down, down. Nate didn't get, Nate wasn't running wide open right away.
Hey Nate, I know you want the cat, but mash the pedal, all right? Mash the pedal. Nate doesn't like the JCB, so. <laughs> all right, down, all right. On the count of three, all right? One, two, three. All right, he mashed the pedal. Whoever gets out and up. Out. I don't know, I think that was a slight tie. Let's do it one more time. The cat lifts higher, by the way, too. That cat, when it's fully erected, is a little longer there. All right, go down, race down. I don't think they were racing down, but that JCB came down a lot faster. All right, we're gonna do this one more time. <laughs> All right, a count of three. One, two, three. Oh, that, what? <laughs> I don't know what happened to Jared. I don't know. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Jared got the start on him that time, I think, but the JCB, the boom lifts up faster uh, than the boom telescopes out and it acts like it's a little faster altogether. But um, the, the cat is definitely going up higher. So now we're gonna get him on the road and we're gonna race him. All right, so these guys are lining up. We've got Amber Road shut down. Sun is going down, so the light ain't all that great. Ben is gonna send these guys off. On your mark, we just drop your hand when it's ready to go here. On your mark, get set, go. All right. Let's see who passes by the driveway first here. We've got Jared on the outside and Nate on the inside here. Oh, 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 boy. Nate beat him. I think Nate beat him. Need him beat him by a nose. Both of them had their booms stretched out so that, you know, whoever crossed first. <laughs> so, well, Jared's doubling up, coming back through. So we better put these machines away for tonight here. Well, Jared's gonna be first one back to the shop anyways. Nate'll run me over, so I better get in the grass. It doesn't really matter which one's faster on the road. We just did that for fun. Well, they got these machines parked for now, and that is gonna do it for this video. Once we get to doing some farm work, we'll come back at you with another uh, short video here on uh, how these machines perform. It's getting dark here now, so um, that's gonna do it. So thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you at the next one.